Hello everybody, this is JD again, and tonight I'm going to talk to you about something that's very dear to your heart. Taxes. Anybody in this country who thinks our taxes is fair and just, you're a fool. You're an idiot. Anybody who thinks that the American citizen is not overtaxed, you're a bigger fool, and you're a bigger idiot. I'm sorry if I'm insulting you, but that is the truth. Our tax system is so unfair in this country, I'm surprised this country has not had revolts over the tax codes. The tax codes are unbelievable the way it's weighed against the less educated. The more education you have, the more you understand accounting, the less you have to pay in taxes. And our tax system is so structured that a person with no tax experience at all could sit at a computer, press buttons, and come out with what your income tax is. And that's wrong. That isn't fair either. There's so many deductibles. I mean, when I do my taxes, I go until I reach a certain point. And then I say, okay, that's enough, and I stop. I could go on and get a lot more deductible. But I stop at a certain point, and then I pay, and what I try to do is get it so my state taxes is down to a reasonable amount. Because every year, because of the amount of money I make and everything, I pay a lot in taxes. I basically work this job at Namco just to pay taxes. No, that is true. My job at Namco basically is just to pay taxes. You know that uh, incentive tax, which I haven't gotten yet? Well, it's to replace taxes that I have paid. So, are we overtaxed? Yes. Is it fairly distributed? Extremely not. The only type of tax that actually, really, bottom line, is fair would be referred to, I think they call it a consumption tax. Basically, it's a sales tax. Everyone pays a certain percentage of what they make in sales tax. Sales tax is simple. If you make a million dollars and you spend $999, you will pay taxes on $999,000. That's what I meant to say. If you make 10000 and spend on 9000 you pay taxes on 9000 Now, if you make a million dollars and only spend 9000 you spend, well, then you pay taxes on 9000 that is what fair taxes are. So, bottom line is taxes are definitely totally unfair. Taxes are not distributed fairly. Minimum wage, no matter what, should never be taxed. Minimum wage should have nothing to do with taxes. Minimum wage should never be taxed by anybody or any state. The percentage of your salary that's minimum wage should not be taxed. Simple. No. The government will not touch minimum wage taxes off of anybody. That's the way it will be. I wish that jerk would quit calling. So minimum wage plain and simple, should never have been taxed, should never be taxed, should be off limits to everybody, state and federal government. Federal law should pass. Minimum wage is not taxable. That's it. Minimum wage out of everybody's salary should be non-taxable. That's it. Now what about the rest? Well, actually, big business and big money makers get the best tax break. They pay all oh, so much more than the average. No, they don't. Actually, through their loopholes and everything, they do not pay their fair share. Those who just do their regular taxes, yes, they do. But those who set up their own special charities and their own special funds and their own special this, they don't. You and me, only a percentage of our home, average person, our home, is non-taxable. 
But you know, if we employed so many people to work in our home, for the upkeep of our home, the whole home could be totally tax deductible. The salary of every maid that works, every single person that works, is totally tax deductible. The food that we actually buy, if we entertain all the time, and we constantly have, feed our employees, could be totally tax deductible. So you see, the richer you are, the more deductions you can get. And when you get certain politicians like the Clintons who say, Oh, we don't pay our fair share. Wish we could pay more. The last thing on your form says, If you wish to pay more, check here and then the amount you wish to add. They don't do it. No, the richer you are, the more you get to rip the government off. The unfair taxes. That's why a consumption tax would be totally fair. Oh, well how much work would that be for Congress to come up with that? They already have it on the floor but they won't pass it or bring it to the surface because it doesn't give them the power of taxing you to your limit and then some. Our taxes are out of this world. They are totally unfair. They are totally unjust. The only countries in the world that have worse taxes than we do are socialist countries where the government pays for everything. Basically, they eat up almost all your paycheck. And then, they're not much worse than what we are, which is not a socialist country. Bottom line is, our tax codes need to be totally rewritten. Will it ever happen? I doubt it. Because if we have, just for example, a sales tax and eliminate the income tax, look at all the businesses that will lose business. People won't do income tax. And they will be out of business. Because there will be no income tax. And people argue that, oh, you won't get your house deductible and all this. No, it's already figured in. The government will actually, on a family of four, be sending you a check for about $1,300 every month to cover the things that you buy that is considered necessities that shouldn't be taxed. They're not going to tell you that either. So bottom line, yes, as president, I would start pushing for a total new tax structure. And unlike Obama, where I will find big business and give you a thousand dollars if I pushed for the sales tax you'd be getting a check for about thirteen hundred dollars every single month twelve months a year every year think of that for a second would you like to have a check for a thousand dollars which you're gonna end up paying five thousand for or would you rather get thirteen hundred dollars every single month knowing that the rich people who spend their money are paying their fair share. The illegal immigrants who come into this country who spend their money are paying their fair share. And the tourists who come and see us when they buy things will pay their fair share. So everybody gets to pay their fair share instead of the working class. Interesting, isn't it? This is JD. You have a nice day. Thank you.